Good morning, everyone, and welcome to your sunrise safari of today. Yet another day of our vehicles out here in Juma Game Reserve. And of course, we have a very special guest on board with us who I will introduce in just a moment. My name is Lauren. I do have Davi on camera today. And we have a passenger. This passenger was not necessarily invited along, but decided to come along for the ride. And I have to say, Davi, I'm going to stand on a bonnet because I need to give some indication of size here. This is the biggest stick insect I have ever seen. And yes, all this excitement is happening right here, right now in front of you. Because of course we are live and interactive. So talk to us, all three of us, including this little guy here, using the hashtag Wild Earth. It's a chilly morning, 17 degrees Celsius and 63 degrees Fahrenheit. So I am wrapped up. And are you shy? No. Okay, I would say this is the best way that I can give a size indication. This little guy goes from essentially my elbow to the end of my fingertips. That is just incredible. Absolutely amazing. Now, stick insect, of course, looks just like a stick. That's where the name comes from. Just in case any of you were unsure, you can see these two legs. I've got the hind legs and the middle set of legs, but here holds both the antenna and the four legs. And of course, when you're classifying insects, they must have six legs and antenna. And that's two of the reasons that separates insects from the arachnids. Now, I'm just gonna get a little bit closer, Dobby. Bear with me because the face is here. I'm not sure if you can see it, but this is where the head is and the eyes are set. So this little guy is poised, his antenna and his four legs together. And he's essentially stretched them out as if he's doing some bizarre swimming move, the front crawl or something. And this is to assist him to appear to look even more like a stick. Although I think he's doing an incredible job of actually looking like a stick. 